Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do this girls night out dark lips and matte eye look. I'm going out for dinner with one of my girlfriends tonight and I thought I would share with you the look I'll be wearing. I haven't done a dark lip look on my channel yet so I thought I'd try that out today using the Anastasia liquid lipstick. I really hope you enjoy this tutorial and I'll see you guys soon. Bye! For foundation I'm going to be using the NARS Sheer Glow foundation in shade 1 Siberia. I'm going to apply that using my Real Techniques buffing brush. To conceal my blemishes, I'm going to be using the Collection Last Imperfection Concealer in shade Fair. If you have a beauty blender, you can use the beauty blender to do this, but I like to use my fingers. To brighten my under eye area and to conceal any dark circles, I'm going to be using the Bourjois Healthy Mix Concealer in shade 51. I'm going to apply this using my Crown C441 Deluxe Crease Brush. I'm also going to bring the Bourjois Concealer onto the bridge of my nose and just up above my eyebrows. set that I'm going to be using the Ben Nye Neutral Set Colourless Powder and I'm just going to take some of that into my hand and then using my Real Techniques contour brush I'm just going to set that. To carve out my cheekbones and add some definition to my face I'm going to be using the Illamasqua Cream Pigment in shade Hollow. I'm just going to stub my Real Techniques contour brush into this and then I'm just going to apply this. I'm also going to bring that onto my temples and slightly into the centre of my forehead, press that into the sides of my nose. I'm also going to take that cream contour shade just underneath my jawline just to make my jaw seem sharper. I'm just pushing it in an upwards direction on my cheekbones. And then I'm just going to set that using a little bit more of my Ben Nye colourless powder. For blush, I'm going to be using the Max Factor Cream Puff Blush in shade Lovely Pink. I'm just applying this to the apples of my cheeks. To highlight, I'm going to be using the Balm's Mary Luminizer Highlighter. Prep and prime my eyes, I'm going to be using the MAC Paint Pot in shade Soft Ochre. Applying that using my fingertip and I'm putting it all over the lid, right up to the eyebrows. For my brows, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in shade Medium Brown. my brows using my concealer brush and my collection concealer. With our brows done, let's move on to our eyeshadow. For my eyeshadow today, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked 2 Basics palette. You can use any matte eyeshadow palette for this. All you need is a collection of nude shadows ranging from light to dark. To start with, I'm going to take this shade here, which is called Stark. It's a fleshy nude shadow. And I'm just going to apply this into the crease and all over the lid. So this colour is going to act as our transition shade. Next I'm going to take this medium shade here called Cover and I'm just going to concentrate that in the crease and the outer V. I'm just concentrating this in the outer V and I'm slightly just dragging it over towards my um, 
the center of my eye. I'm just going to take a large fluffy brush and just make sure that's all blended seamlessly. To add a little bit more definition, I'm going to take this medium dark shade called Primal. I'm using a Crown C461 pencil brush for this. Just rolling that and pushing that into the very outer V. Once again, I'm going to be using my large C441 Deluxe Blending Crease to make sure that's all seamless. I'm going to apply a small amount of the Cover Eyeshadow just on the lower lash line. Now, if you want to add a little bit of glitz to this look, you can apply a glitter or a shimmer shadow just in this section here. I want to keep my eyes quite matte today, so I'm going to apply a little bit extra of that stark shadow just to make sure we've got a clear definition from light to dark. I'm just going to touch up the inner corner of the eye using the stark eyeshadow and I'm going to blend that out. To add a little touch of glamour I'm going to be using the Balms Mary Luminizer and I'm going to apply this in the tear duct area. For eyeliner, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Big Eyes Liner. I'm going to use the nude end in my waterline and the black end to tight line my eyes. For mascara, I'm going to be using the Bourjois Volume 1 Second Mascara in black. Finally, to lift my brow bone, I'm going to apply a small amount of the Mary Luminizer just under my arch. For my lips, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in shade Sad Girl. I've applied one coat of the lipstick, so I'm just going to apply another one now just to make sure it's all even and flawless. I'm just going to clean up my lips using a concealer brush. I wasn't going to add any lashes to this look, but after applying my lipstick, I feel like I just need to balance my eyes out a little bit more. So I'm going to apply my Ardell Demi Wispy Lashes. And here's the finished look. so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you've got any suggestions for other videos that you'd love to see from me then please do let me know in the comment section below as always don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up because it really helps my channel out and of course don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a video I'll see you guys soon bye